Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So this is the most flattering makeup look for mature women. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. We're going to do this beautiful wearable, like one of the most wearable makeup looks for mature women. We're going back to the nineties, which is one of my favorite decades. And we're going to create this beautiful look from the nineties. It really came off of the eighties being more as more all of that really like blue eyeshadow and striking cheeks and lots of color. And then we went into the nineties being a little bit more muted, fresh skin, just looking really beautiful, but really structuring out the face, but not being overpowered, not being super like all colorful. I really loved the nineties look now nineties hair. This is not a nineties hair video. <laughs> My hair is very dirty. I think it's day five. I just haven't washed it. It's a real process. So I have to like really make sure I have all the time to be able to do everything that I do to it. So I actually was looking for dry shampoo and I, found just my texturizing spray. I don't think I really need texturizing. I needed to make it feel a little bit cleaner. A lot of my audience on all platforms asks me about my hair being, how do I get so much volume and fullness? I have thick hair, yes, but I don't ever remember my hair having this much volume naturally with dyed hair. I just don't. When I was on photo shoots and they were teasing my hair and they were doing this whole thing and it was all styled, yes, I had big hair, but not, not every day. Like I didn't wake up literally with my hair, <laughs> like look like it exploded. And my husband's like, whoa, what, what happened? And I'm like, I don't know. Now it is shorter. So I think that gives it the opportunity to have more volume, but this I truly believe is from my gray hair. It expands, it's a different texture. It's doing its own thing. Love it or hate it, I don't really care because my hair and I have a very special relationship. We have a very special bond with what we went through and how we came together. And I just, I don't think that much about it. So it's big. Okay. So maybe, you know, I, I just, the comments are so crazy lately over on Instagram because I'm putting up reels about gray hair or just showing you things. And it's really triggering women. It's really, I mean, it's almost like every night I have new nasty comments that I actually am enjoying because I put them up on, on my, stories and I have, I find a song that just happens to match with their nasty comment. And I'm like, bring it. This is actually kind of fun. Like let's, I used to ignore it, right? Now I just expose it and then I move on and then I let everybody else have to deal with it. Okay. So this is exciting because we're bringing back our strong group, Matt nude palette that I loved and you loved. It's been very requested. So I didn't know how much I really missed it until I started working with the lab and getting the formulations and it's a beautiful creamy matte. Like it's just so beautiful. You're going to love it. And then I'm bringing back rewrite the rules, which is my gray cool palette. So we have a lot in store for 2024. Those should be coming out. I would probably say spring. It could be earlier, but I don't want to, you know, I don't, I never really know. So I'm just trying to navigate these, these production timelines and shipping and everything and giving you some time and not promising earlier. So I'm wearing actually, I wanted a little color. So I'm I'm wearing this. It's called Amour Vert is the company. It's a cashmere sweater. It was sent to me by Quarterly in their press package. It's beautiful. I was like, this is the perfect color for my summer coloring. So I thought it would look great today. We're going to start off with our eye primer. You know, that's my first step always is using the eye primer. We need to take away this discoloration. We have a lot of discoloration going on, which is completely natural for a mature woman. And that's another thing. Some people have told me I'm not mature because <laughs> I'm in my forties. I'm not in my fifties yet. That's another thing. Like I'm pretending I'm older. Okay. When you have mature skin, I do consider myself a mature woman. I have pigmentation here. I have redness here. I have some pigmentation, you know, from just, you know, aging, you know, I'm 48. I think that, you know, People are upset that I'm not 50 and I talk about being 50. I don't know. <laughs> it's just so funny to me. So you can see the difference right away. And if you don't use an eye primer, you don't know what you're missing. So if you do use an eye primer, you know. <laughs> so you go from the base of the lashes all the way up to the brow bone. You do a nice light veil of, of coverage. You don't pile it on and you can see, I mean, see all that darkness and I don't want to put over a matte nude palette over darkness. I'm never going to get that true color. So you want to neutralize out your eye. I mean, it's just completely makeup life-changing. 
eyes are done, nice and neutralized. Now I am going to take my middle color. I really can't even show you these colors because they're literally in a little clamshell. But th this is my middle color here that I'm going to use on my eyes. I'm gonna do a nice little wash of color. I'm going to just put this on my eyelid from the base of my lashes. I really put the concentration in the middle and then I just pull it down to the sides. And again, working with a matte color, don't worry, you're going to blend it. This is just my first main base color. I'm going to take the lightest color, it's a bone color. It actually, I dropped it. I can't show it to you because it cracked in its little thing. So we're gonna just take this up on the brow bone. You can see I'll bring it down a little bit so there's no demarcation. Beautiful, just a really nice bone neutral color. Now for the deepest color, it's beautiful, rich chocolate brown. I really love this color. It looks so beautiful. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drag it across my lash line first. You can see it's so rich. You have to be really careful though because it's very highly pigmented. I'm gonna drag it across my lash line and I'm gonna bring it just out a little bit. And I think I'm going to just do that. I'm not even going to go into the contour. I want it to be clean on that eye and then really smoking up this lash line. I'm going to just take my all my eye makeup remover pad. I'm going to just lift up at the end there. Got a little crazy with doing the kind of winged out. I'm going to take a little bit of that buffy motion just right here with my eyeshadow blending and just kind of making sure that doesn't look too, too intense. Curling my lashes. Lashes are curled. Now we're going to go into our deep, rich, waterproof, dark chocolate. This is a beautiful, soft, creamy eyeliner for mature eyes. And this was really used in the 90s like this all these browns and everything is just really beautiful now what i'm going to do is i normally go to the base here and line my lash line which i will do but i'm going to go in underneath i've showed you this technique before it's a sneaky eyeliner trick i want this to be really just just really more intense when it comes to the eyeliner You can see how it even looks like I have mascara on right now. Like this is, I don't have to pull my eyelid up and then go underneath another tight line. I can literally just wiggle back and forth. It's a little bit more comfortable too. Your eyes don't dry out like they do when you hold your lash line like this and you're like trying to do it like that. I just like to, you know, really get where I want to have that intense liner underneath my lash line there. And then, I mean, it doesn't even look like I have to put mascara on, but we of course will because we want to pull those lashes out and really get that beautiful lash look. I could take my short smudge brush and just smudge it up a little bit more if I want to. So you can see this is a heavier line that I wanted to create and really showcase this matte eyeshadow and just concentrate on the liner. Take this underneath since I still had a little bit of that eyeliner on this brush just to balance it out. Now we're going into the Volume Up Mascara. I'm gonna do a really beautiful coat of mascara. You can see base of the lashes and coming up. We've got the mascara on, really, we're really going for it today with this like beautiful eyeliner, not a lot of eyeshadow, that beautiful matte. Now, we're gonna to wanna to perfect the skin. So let's just, this is what it's all about. It's lightweight skin, but sculpted, meaning that you're not doing heavy coverage, which is perfect because we use a BB cream and we can put on our face primer right now. I do have a little moisturizer on. I did do the matter of fact, minimalistic or minimalist uh, lightweight moisturizer. And now I'm gonna do the face primer and then we're gonna go right into color corrector and concealer. Taking a little fiercely smooth, I just take one pump and then I put it in more of the T-zone and then I spread it out. You can see how reactive my skin is by just touching it. It definitely gets red. So we're gonna do a little just peachy 
And then I might as well just use some of my no redness also on my face to kind of just prep it for the concealer and the BB cream. Here is my Just Peachy. So I literally, the second I take this to my skin, you can see that it just eradicates that like darkness, brightens my skin right away. So you can see here that it's lighter. And then I have this right here, that pigmentation, that redness, what have you. I don't usually use no redness in that area because I want to really lighten this up. The no redness goes around like my nose. It's like a mosaic. So I can just target what areas need to have that color correction. That's more red like here. I sometimes have red on my chin depending on what's going on, but I know that this kind of looks like, whoa, you did a lot of makeup today, Nicole. It's 90s supposed to be, no, 90s is in your interpretation. You're using mattes, you're using browns, nudes. I mean, sculpting the face. You can do as much or as little. And I think that's what's so beautiful about makeup in general. You don't have to follow any of these rules. There's no rules, right? You can create, you can go, you know, maybe you're in the mood for more makeup one day and you're like, you know what? This is my interpretation of nineties. You know, it's matte eyeshadow doing more eyeliner. Maybe it's a little bit more than you normally would do. And you love it. You never thought you could wear it like that. That's what is so exciting is that each day you have a different mood, different choices, and you just go with it. Now I'm going to use a pump of my BB cream and light. I think I'm going to do a pump in a little bit of a quarter. That seems to work perfectly for my face. I tap in with my foundation buffing brush, and then I basically will buff this into my skin. I haven't put on my concealer yet because I have been liking putting on the BB cream and then seeing what I really need to do in this area just a little bit more if I need to. And what's really nice about this BB cream is that it's going to be a semi matte finish. So I designed this so it wasn't glossy and heavy and greasy and shiny on mature skin. You get hydration. The ingredients that I have in this product are just beautiful from hyaluronic acid, vitamin C. I mean, you're going to get really beautiful, beautiful antioxidants in this product, but you're not gonna get that really heavy, glossy kind of feel that it never dries. This is just gonna really buff out the skin, blur the skin, and just really look beautiful. So now, the big thing in the 90s was those thin, thin eyebrows. Well, clearly I don't pass the test for that, but I'm going to just define my brows just a little bit. I have, if you've noticed, I did mention that I did do a little cleanup on my brows when we came back into the house. I felt like I was, you know, from not shaving and not really having, we had one working shower when we first moved back in. And it was just, you know, all these things that I normally would be doing and be on schedule with like shaving my legs and being Greek. I have to do it every day. And then I didn't do it every single day. I cleaned up my brows and I haven't looked back. They are growing and I keep tweezing and here we are. I'm going to sculpt the face with my creme brulee. This is a hybrid. It's going to be really soft on the skin, shea butter in it. It's going to really just melt into the skin, but give you that really beautiful definition, but not be over the top. It's not like you just put on a ton of bronzer. We have the bronzer on. It's just warming up the skin just a bit. Going to take a little of the Classic Beach Glow with this cream blush here. Now I do think I need a little creamy concealer just in these areas here that you can see are a little bit darker. I'm gonna buff it in with my foundation buffing brush. I'm going to just set my under eyes with my Nikita Banana. Now the best part is the lips and they always had a darker, like a brown lip liner and a lighter lip color, but that's really not, I don't, it, you know the 90s what I'm talking about. It was like this frosted lips on the inside, but it was like this dark brown on the outside. I'm going to use my silk. I'm going to show you something different that I did do with my brow pencil. We're going to incorporate that in this look today, but I'm going to use silk that's gonna outline my, uh, my lips, and then I'm going to show you how I'm just gonna give you a little bit more of that brown to lend to the 90s style, but not be doing a whole brown lip liner. Now, I have silk on. This is a silk lip liner. That's what the name of it is called. I'm going to take my taupe, brow pencil and I'm going to give some definition with this really beautiful taupey color to add to the silk. 
So you can see where I defined it on these areas here, tapering it back to the end. I don't want it strong on the ends and really more focusing on the top here. So I have that kind of two tone color. Now I'm going to use figure it out. It's my nude. And then this is going to pull the whole look together. So I have the lip liner on in silk. I did a little definition with my taupe brow pencil. I did a whole dedicated video on how you can line your lips if you forget your lip liner with a brow pencil. So I wanted to do that, added the figure it out, but I want to, since I'm wearing this beautiful kind of blush cashmere sweater, I'm going to add in a little bit of my Pretty Smart. I could have just used this if I wanted to not be too nude, but we're gonna just add in a little bit more dimension. I think it looks really beautiful. So this is, my interpretation of the 90s, doing a matte eyeshadow, doing really beautiful eyeliner, smudging it up, and then concentrating on sculpting the face, adding a little blush in, and then doing the lips that you really want. You can do all kinds of different combos. It's just a beautiful, flattering look for mature women. Whether you stay in all of the browns, add a little pink, add this beautiful rosy color to the cheeks, or you're, you are adding color, depends on how much, but just really, I really love the fact that we're bringing back our matte eyeshadows, that you're going to love using these, whether you're in the warm family, the cool family, or you don't really care and you wear both. So ladies, let me know, do you love this look? Do you think that this is timeless? Do you think that you could make your own iteration of this beautiful makeup look? Let me know in the comments below. And until my next video, I'll see you later.